everybody, and welcome back to Old Guy Games. And we're going to take a break from the horror for just a little bit. I've got this and another thing coming up uh, probably later tonight, if not tomorrow morning. Any, anyway, um, this is unfortunately a game with no intro movie or title or anything. It just boots you right into this main menu. International Snooker. Or as my grandmother used to call it, Snooker. The game of games. A gentleman's game of billiards. Generally, I say snooker, and people here in the United States look at me like, what the hell is that? Um, and, and I complain because there are no good snooker tables anywhere near me. The closest one, and, and trust me, I've, I've searched the web and I've actually gone on foot to search quite a bit. The closest one I can find is in Chicago, which is about four hours from me. Now, there may be one hidden in Milwaukee somewhere, because that's a good-sized town. Uh, but I haven't been able to find one. The, and, and I'm pretty sure that if I found one in Milwaukee, it wouldn't be a true 12-foot snooker table, you know. Um, and I... And, Anyway, uh, snooker is, yes, it's kind of like pool, guys. It's played on a much larger table. And you can see that there are 15 reds and then some different colored balls around. And, um, well, you have to go in a certain order. And the idea behind snooker is not only to sink balls like it is in pool, but to prevent your opponent from making a legal shot, so to speak. Now, I am by no means a decent snooker player. In fact, I remember that was one of my favorite things when I was over in the UK, was to watch not only snooker matches, but your trick shot matches and stuff like that. And they do all sorts of crazy, crazy shit. <laughs> stuff like hitting balls off the top of bottles and hitting balls under the top of bottles and using multiple cues and like leaping all over the place. It's it's incredible to watch if you ever catch it on ESPN 14 or whatever. Um, if you guys ever catch any trick shots competitions, definitely watch them. If you catch any snooker, check it out because the, the, the level of play is far, far beyond mine. But have a seat. Let's learn how to play snooker, shall we? Uh, we'll just do a quick game and... This is the nice thing about international snooker. You've got here, this is English billiards. Anytime I wanted to play, well, not billiards, because billiards is different. This is English table pool, bar pool, pub pool. Um, instead of stripies and solids, they have orange and uh, red, or yellow and red balls, and then a black ball for an eight ball. They have no numbers on it or anything. Uh, and you can play that. You can play regular American stripey, solid, numbered pool. Or you can play nine ball, or you can play the major draw of the game, obviously, snooker. So let's jump into snooker. Um, <laughs> eh, eh, oh, hey. I can, I, I, that one's actually unlocked. That one's unlocked. Yay. Oh, that one's locked. Okay. I'm, I'm still working through the career. Let's go to this this little hall here where we'll have an audience and everything. And uh, have a nice... I'm going to keep my A player pretty stupid. Uh, it's two out of three frames best. Uh, we'll have him break first. Shot clock is off. And we will... You can have 10, 6, or 15 reds. We're going to go for a full 15 so you guys get an idea of what a game is like. First frame... AI player, Tibidic. All right. You can see that it's an unconventional break against pool, and, you know, normally in American pool, you want to hit those damn balls hard and break them up all over the place, and the reason I don't have the shot clock is so I can talk to you guys. By the way, this I'm really, really proud of. I have had a break of over 50 points, and those that play will understand that one. I'm going to change my camera angle to cheat just a little bit here. But right now I am on red. That means I want to sink one of these red balls. And I am going to go for that one right there in the corner. Chalk. One. 
a simple enough start. Each red that you get is one point. And now, that brings us to the colored balls. Yellow, green, brown, blue, pink, black. That's the order you, from uh, least amount of points to most. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And so the deal is you want to go red, color, red, color, red, color, red, color, until all the reds are gone. And then it kind of turns into a weird game of nine ball. Um, but right now I am indeed going to shoot on black. Normally, if I were playing against humans, I would call it and then call the corner, call the pocket. And if you miss the, the ball that you call, then um, you get a foul. However... This is computer, and it can't really understand me. So it just says, okay, hit a colored ball into a pocket. So we're going to chalk. Eight. And now I have a break of eight points. Uh, a break being um, one turn, one go. This is probably kind of dumb, but I am going to hit it pretty hard because I want to bring the cue ball back down here to play with one of the other colors. Just like that. Okay, can't quite get on pink. Now I could... Can I come up and get on black? I can get on black. Sweet. I'm just going to go for black again. And I love how the crowd is hushed, but you can still hear stuff happening. And occasionally you'll hear somebody cough. It's very much a typical snooker crowd. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Don't you... Okay, it's not gonna... 16. Okay, so a break of 16. And I like, I like the way that uh, this one aims. In order to aim... Uh, it's fast up here and then gets slower, 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 slower until you get real down into real fine adjustments down here versus up here. And I like the way the, the computer does that. And it is definitely a gradient. Now, I really want to break up those reds, so I'm just going to smash the hell out of this one. Okay. And a break of 17, which brings me right back here, and I think I can get on black again, which would make me very, very, very happy. There we go. 24. Now you say, well, this is all nice and good, but what happens, you said, a legal shot? Well, let's say I'm on red, and I get confused, and I hit the blue ball here. If I hit the blue ball, my opponent gets the points for it. Two, three, four, five points to the opponent. If he fouls, I get points. Whoops. I don't know what I did there. Okay. And I'll continue the tournament I'm in once so you guys can see that, which is a little bit harder. I just want to give everybody a, a quick out to. All right, this is going to be an absolutely silly, 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 silly move. Because I have to hit it very, very hard in order to sneak it into this pocket. Here we go. And I did not. Did I foul? I don't think I fouled. You have scored 25. There we go. So now it is my opponent's turn. And I probably should have turned up the difficulty a little bit. I'm a little bit beyond, and I do mean a little bit beyond, the basic AI. Not much beyond it. But to be fair, I probably should have turned it up a touch. 
see if we can now bring the queue around. One. To be on black again. Which is what I wanted. Right there. And yes, chalking does make a difference. If you forget to chalk. Eight. Uh, well, I'll just show you. What am I on red again? Yes. I'll just go a couple here without chalking. Oh, God, that's weird. But you can hear that my cue Nine. did indeed change tone just a little bit. And somebody has to grab a, that Rammstein song and record this lady saying nine and then just mix. You, you, you know what to do. Don't chalk, Scott. Don't chalk. Sixteen. Okay. There, you can hear that. Hear that cue change. Seventeen. And this will this will flash again at some point, uh, just to tell me to chalk up. Twenty-four. Break of twenty-four. That's not going to do it. You have scored no. 24. One. And you see, Your he has quite, scores one. <laughs> quite the deficit. However, notice what he did. I can no longer put that red into, well, maybe I can. We'll give it a try. Now, if I do hit this red and hit the black in, he gets seven points. There. Don't forget to talk One. to chalk your cue. Um, it will make a difference, especially if I go for a very sharp. Okay, <clears throat> but you can see that it it definitely wants me to. And there, you can hear the difference. Once Eight. I finally did chalk, and I'm actually going to go for this one in this corner. And I'll I'll play a game with a little bit harder AI. This seems a little cheaty of me. Again, I'm not that good, but I'm a little bit better than the basic AI. Nine. Oh, what are we going to do? Go for the corner? Go for the corner. And people that really play snooker are looking at me like, you idiot. You should do this, obviously. And miss. I'm awful. Um, you have English pockets. Nine. You can see here. Uh, now, American pockets, you know that they kind of come to a point. Okay, they're applauding because Eight. he can score. They come to a point and uh, they kind of funnel the ball in. These Nine. stupid English pockets do not. They kind of roll into the into the uh, pot. Sixty. Uh, they don't call them pockets. They're called pots. Um, and it makes things that much more difficult. Okay, he's got a break of 17. He's doing okay. There we go. Your opponent scores 17. I also like the fact that they made the announcer Scottish. That just makes me happy. Um, and, and I'm sure, oh, again, people that live over in the UK are going, well, that's blah, blah, blah. She always announces the games, matches, whatever. Um, but yeah, you'll notice that you pot it colored and then they bring it back out and that's what these little dips are for and there's all kinds of fun stuff. Oh. See, I hate those English pockets. If that were an American pocket, they come to a point and it would have caught and gone in. Well played. One. Seven. I think at 58, I'm very close to him conceding the frame because there won't be enough points. Your opponent scores seven. Okay, now that would have been, let's say that that red goes behind the pink. That would have been a brilliant play because I can't hit the pink, but I have to hit the red. 
So you can see where setting up shots and such can get a little bit hairy. Make an attempt on the brown. And the reason being is now that all the reds are off the off the table, once I pot this brown, uh, because that's the end of the, the reds scoring area, it then switches into kind of nine ball, and I have to go yellow, green, brown, blue, pink, black in that order. And if I miss, it's a foul. So that's the end of the red Five. scoring round. And now I'm on yellow. And you can see down there, it's definitely yellow. Nope. I don't think I got that one. You have scored. Nine. Five. And he concedes the frame. But it's best of three. He could still come back and get me. So let's Player go for the next frame. One. Leads by one. Frame two, no. Frame two. Player one, to break. So it is now my break. Now I have both an unconventional snooker break and an unconventional American pool break. And that's because I break from the opposite side of most people playing snooker. I'm a weirdo that way, but that's how I learned. But that's the kind of break you want. And ideally, I would bring the cue ball <coughs> off of that, off of here, off of this one, to settle back here behind the green. Unfortunately, I gave him a shot on that red, and he took it. Uh, Shall I do the impossible cut? I think I shall. Will I sink a red anyway? No. <laughs> I figured I'd give it a shot. And I don't know what the hell he was doing. Okay. Um... That's what I want right there. What am I... Oh. This is the only problem with snooker on the computer. One. Um, snooker, billiards, pool, any of the table games like this are as much about feel... Take a shot, take the lead, and get a little funky with that. Um, anyway, uh, they're as much about feel seven. as they are... Uh, as much as can be represented by lines and stuff like that, you're still missing. I don't know the the feel of the the felt and understanding whether it's a fast felt or a slow felt or somewhere in the middle or whether it's got fast spots. You know, in the in the computer, the table is fast and perfect every time, and real snooker, real billiards, real pool is not like that. Getting an, uh, a feel for the cushions, are they hard, which which means does it come in and, and come back with as much force or do they absorb a little bit? Um, are there kind of cheaty grooves worn into the slate a little bit? Um, so, you know, they, and you don't get that when you're playing on the computer. Which is something that I do miss One. quite a bit. Can I sneak it? Yes, I can. I'm going to have to beat it to death. See, now Eight. if I were to sink that red, he would get the points for the, uh, for the black ball. Nine. 
See, every time she says nine, you guys are going to have Rammstein in your head, aren't you? I just know it. Sixteen. But you can see how snooker has a little bit more skill to it than American pool or bar pool. Seventeen. Ooh, I fucked up my black. Okay. Not on black, not on pink. Can't realistically do blue. Hmm, maybe I could. We'll try. We'll try. Yeah. You have scored 17. One. And this is another of those games, or at least it was back when I went to school in England. One. Probably not so much now. But it was it was one where you could catch the guy smoking in the background and stuff like that, and they could still call themselves athletes, <laughs> like bowling used to be. Nowadays, I think smoking during a match is verboten. But in fact, that was one the one room in my university where smoking was accepted was in the snooker room. And all of the smokers became very, very good snooker players. And I used to be, at one time, a very good snooker player. Not so Eight. much anymore. I did win my university tournament, though. And then I went playing against a couple of other English players. And... <laughs> they, they, they proved that I was indeed... Just a lucky American. You have scored. Oh, you bastard. Okay. Okay, see, there, he missed a red ball. Foul and a miss. Foul and a miss. Now I have a choice. Four. I can have him replay that same shot, or we, or we can play on. I'm going to be a dick. Shoot it again. Foul and a miss. Now, you have scored four. See, and I'm getting four points for each of those because that's the the minimum um, deal. Now, he's he's shot and missed twice. If I have him play again and he shot shoots and misses a ball a third time, he loses the match automatically. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play on. I'm not that much of a dick. Actually, I am that much of a dick if I weren't playing to show you guys the game. One. But there we are. Eight. And one of these days I would love to become part of the 141 Club. And the 141 Club is red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black for all 15 and then sinking the rest. It's 141 points. It's about as good as you can do in snooker. Snooker. And um, it's an elite yeah. club. Kind of like the Mile High Club, which is another club I'm working on becoming. Any volunteers? Just let me know in the comments below. Um, nope. In fact, I'm glad that yellow was there because otherwise... Nine. <laughs> you tricksy little bastard. Seven. Eight. 
But again, I love the crowd in the background. You can hear them coughing and stuff. Anytime it's pretty much a, eight. Anytime it's a blowout, there they'll start coughing and getting uncomfortable and being like, "Er, uh, somebody should just really concede the match and go." Oh, you bitch! You little red bastard! I'm getting cocky. That's what it is. One. And he Eight. is getting cautious. Nine. Now what are you going to do? You're going to go for black? Were you on color? Your he opponent was? scores nine. He was. Okay. Silly me. Weep. Okay. Can I do this and avoid the mysterious disappearing ball trick? That is the question. Yeah, I was afraid I was going to lose the... I was afraid I was going to pop the white over here. I did not want to do that. Like that. Foul, you have scored four. And now that uh, you'll see that I get the minimum score of four. Uh, of... Uh, on a foul and I get ball in hand but it's not like pool or nine ball where you can put it anywhere it's anywhere in the D so it's always happy when you get your ball in the D let's do that come back knock the green out of the way and go for black or I can do that and just go for pink. Come on, gotta put the pink in the hole. It's especially good when you come off the D and put the pink in the hole. Seven. In fact, I'll. Eight. You can see, again, this not being a very exciting match, people are starting to cough and go a little nuts. Fourteen. And the reason I got the big clap there is because with 60 to 25, I don't think that there is enough points on the table for him to catch up. So I may get he a have scored fourteen. May get a no. I'm, he's not conceding. Excuse me. One. Maybe there are no. There are enough points for him to catch up to Your me. Your opponent scores one. So now again we're in the nine ball, and I've got to go for the yellow. A little bit more. Ooh. miss completely. I am a snooker god. Oh, well done. See what he's trying to do? He's trying to put the yellow behind the pink. Over here somewhere is where he was hoping it would end up. Um, unfortunately for him, it did not. <laughs> Hang on a second. I want to see what that did. Wow. Okay. I got very lucky there. Two. Very lucky there. Whoops. We're done. Okay. Uh, green. Green. Green it is. Now you, you may say, well, can I take the green, hit the green, and then hit the black in the corner? and score the seven points. Well, no, that would be a foul. Like that. Foul. You have scored two. Your opponent scores seven. There you go. And 
now he is playing snooker for real. He was hoping to get me behind that blue ball, which he did not. do a lot of playing you can adjust and, and play all you want from this view it's not that easy though it's not easy to see i i like again playing on a real table you can walk around the table see what's going on get different views here it's either down the queue or overhead and overhead i have a better idea of what's going on seven um so that's why I switched to the overhead to aim. Now let's see if we can't do something really stupid here. You have scored seven. And there we go. He finally conceded the frame. And the match. And the match. So that's the basics of snooker. Um, I, uh, let's let, let, let me let me do something against just a quick game. Um, we are going to go. I'm going to go. You can see that there's eight levels. I'm going to go with level three, which is probably a little bit above where I should First frame. be. AI player, Tippity. And we'll let him break and we'll play. There we go. Beautiful break. That's precisely what you want to have happen. And he puts me right behind the blue on that one, which in theory... One. That brings me right up to beyond the black. And that's what I want. I completely missed that pile of reds that I was going Eight. for. Okay. Power to bring the cube back up to line up for the eight or the eight, the, the black. Too many years back in the States, I need to get across the pond badly. Sixteen. That breaks my reds. Didn't quite get enough oomph on the reds that I wanted because, yeah. Let us. Now in, again, when you're playing against humans, one of the rules of snooker is you have to try to pot a ball. If you just, for instance, if your cue is over here and, and you've got a red down here and a bunch of reds here and you go, I don't want my opponent to really, so you just kind of sneak it here and just boop, then uh, you can call foul, depending on where you're playing. Um... Of course, house rules are always, always different. Um, but we always played that you had to try to pot a ball, and if you couldn't, you could call foul on your other player. Not easy to prove, but it's the way I learned to play. Oh, crap. Foul. You have scored 16. Your opponent scores 4. Yeah, great. And this is where I sit down right over there, and then he just wipes the floor with me. What the hell was that? Did you Your just. Your opponent fall? scores one. No. 
He didn't foul, but he didn't pot anything either. One. I was listening for the cue to drop. <laughs> I was really expecting the uh, the white to fall on that one. Eight. And at new. Can I not get around the black? I can. I think I can. Nine. There's that Rammstein again. Sixty. <coughs> what crowd? Clear your throats a little bit more, why don't you? It's not going to be that much of a wipeout, trust me. We got more frames to go. Here we go. Did I just fuck up? I think I just fucked up. No, I didn't. Amazing. Amazing. Can I get around the black that way? No, no. Gonna have to go for another color blue. Blue it is. Actually. Now why go after blue with so much power? Because I want to come in and break up these balls and see if I can do something with them that way. 22. Just like that. 22 and... Not a snowball's chance in hell. Nope. Stupid English pockets. 22. Of course, they're not pockets. They're pots, Scott. They're pots. This, this is where he proceeds to wipe the floor with me right here. Eight. Fifteen. Sixteen. Twenty-three. Ooh. Your opponent scores 23. I'm as surprised and shocked as the crowd is, honestly. And I am going to add a little bit of backspin on that because I do not want my cue going in the pocket. <coughs> I want it to One. stop right there. In the name of love, before it pots itself. Miss. Yeah. Seven. Okay. This is going to be an artful miss. Right here. You have scored seven. I have, however, snookered him nicely. He didn't have a shot on a red because I parked him right back by the pot. That's another trick trick that you can do, but it is dangerous for obvious reasons. Boop. One. Bring me right out. Now you put me on brown. I don't really want to be on brown. I don't want to Maybe is brown the best I can do? Brown's the best I can do. Now, let's play snooker. You have scored one. And there we are. We park him behind the brown and force him to commit a foul. Foul and a miss. You have scored. And we can play again. Foul and a miss. Foul and a miss. Now normally, you, hu you know, humans would change their tactic. The computer will not, and I, 
I I shall play on. Um, now I can go for any color I'd like. That's the nice thing about this is I now have the chance and the choice to pot whatever color ball I want. And so we'll just go for black here. Sweet. One. Well, you could see the other player in the background. Um, you know, there he is. And you'll see me sitting over here. And they, they do get visibly shaken. They do get visibly shaken. There is a shot clock option. Normally you would have, t what is it, 24 seconds um, to decide on your shot in a regulation game. I have it shut off because I think that timing, aiming like this Again, it's that difference between feeling the damn thing and playing snooker on a computer. Totally different feelings. Am I going to snooker him? See, now I've kind of snookered him behind the pink. But he goes for it and does not foul. Well done. Well done. Now. The question is, what do I do with this? That, I think. Mm, nope. I have made shots where I've gone off of that that side pot One. Uh, wall over here and had it go on down Eight. to the corner, but they're pretty rare. This is where he... Okay. Your opponent scores. Eight. Okay. Oh, we'll just go for the ball that he wanted to hit. One. Bang it off. Boom. Uh, don't have a shot on the pink. Ain't that the story of my life? Never have a shot on the pink. And I will go for the black in the corner. Come on. And I will hopefully not. Oh. Okay. Love it when the crowd gasps like that. Eight. Hell yes. Now sixty-three to thirty-six. I'm not One. sure if he can pull this back or not. Your opponent scores one. But there we are. We'll at least park him at the opposite end and not give him a, an easy shot with that yellow in the way. But see, I've, I've kind of successfully closed off that corner pocket. Like, I would love it if the brown weren't there so that I could... Because uh, I've, I've got the brown blocking that one, the black blocking that one. Oh, isn't that just the story of life? Brown things and black things, blocking things everywhere. So we shall beg off, but leave him the same shot. He didn't even think about it. He was just like, all right, dunk, 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 who can play at that game? Uh, okay. There, maybe. There, I don't know. We'll give it a shot. See, he snookered me behind the pink. I, I either have to come up here and bounce back that way or come up here and bounce down. Hopefully. Nope. I missed. Swing and a miss. He gets some points. Your opponent scores four. 
and he takes the shot. Okay. Now, I've had about enough of this red ball. Let's get rid of it. And you, black ball, you have been blocking that pockets for long enough. Eight. See, now comes the trick because I'm on yellow. <laughs> You hear that? I forgot to chalk my cue. You and I'll at least leave a lot eight. of green. See, now he's hoping that I foul a lot. Uh, that's gonna have to. It's gonna have to do. There we are. <laughs> See, he could have put the yellow in the corner, but I think if he sinks the yellow, that's pretty much it for him. Or if the yellow does done get sunk. Shoot. Just make sure he doesn't foul. He's going to park me behind the green. Or at least try. Because I think I can... Yeah. I think if I give it enough oomph... Yeah. I miss that corner pocket with the white. People are getting bored. People are getting bored. I can hear them coughing. Coughing means boredom. Okay. to me, I'll do it back to you. Two. And that's it. Foul and a miss. Your opponent scores. Two. You have scored. Five. You have scored. Two. Huh? There we go. So he shoots again and makes it this time. Uh, I think I will bring it back to that pocket. There's a reason I'm doing this is because I want to be up on the brown. Three. And I kind of knew that's actually what I was... That's the neat thing about UK pockets. You can actually use them to move the ball around like that. That was not fortuitous, I promise. That was on purpose. Seven. I fucked myself there. Okay. Not really. Yeah, not gonna make it, but... You have scored seven. Thank you. Alrighty, I think that's enough snooker. You guys get the point. And uh, you can see that as things get more and more difficult, how difficult it can really become and how much of a subtle game it is. Um, I do want to I want to show you guys something real quick. Uh, do I have... I can change locations? I can change the US? Neat. Okay. Um, anyway, I think I'll edit them in there. Sweet. Uh, the old guy. Done. 
Uh, there we go. I do want to show you this one real quick just because I'm proud. Of how I played this. This is just a replay of my... Uh, this is my career match right now. And this was what a 71 point break looks like. Eight. Forty. But yeah, I was really proud of this one. But I knew, I, I forget what the opponent's score was, but it was in the single digits, and I figured I would stop there. That was my 71-point break. I am proud of that one. <laughs> this little 28-point, this is one where during an actual tournament, uh, he missed three times and uh, did that. Anyway, I will get out of here. Um... That's Snooker. Now you guys know. Now you guys maybe understand the game and hopefully, hopefully, it will gain a little popularity here in the U.S. and we can actually start playing it in cities smaller than Indianapolis or Chicago or Milwaukee or wherever. Uh, maybe even deals small enough to, to be Green Bay someday. Um... So yeah, if you can, International Snooker, really cheap on Steam and worth it if you want to give it a try. And we can play online and I'll be happy to play with just about anybody. If you do get the game, just let me know and I'd love to take you on and have you kick my butt because that's what you're going to do. This has been International Snooker. This has been Old Guy Games as well. And um, thanks a lot for joining me. I'll see you guys on the next episode and we'll be getting, getting back to Horror Month after a couple of things here. Oh, 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 oh,